dad came over from work to see the boys and I showed him around the house, the destruction. Oh my God. I took him straight upstairs to the computer room where he saw everything displayed on the floor. What I would like to see, once you've taken the minute to compose yourself with what you've seen, is to be able to sit down with Kobe and make it quite clear that his unacceptable behaviour has to stop. He has lost his privileges and I'd like them to follow through in suit in your home, OK? Kobe needs to understand that if he misbehaves in his mother's house, the discipline will be followed through in his dad's house as well. You can't play basketball for how many days? Two. Whatever happens here is going to happen at daddy's apartment, right? Do you understand that? OK. If you're back talk here, you might as well be back talking daddy. When you talk to him, Dad, don't pacify what you're saying, OK? I know, I know. This is know. you being firm with him. I know, I know, it's hard. What's hard? To be firm? Aaron. I understand, I understand. Aaron, no, Aaron, I don't think you do. When I picked Kobe up, um, it was a father saying to his son, you're not a bad guy. We're going to work on this. Put him down for a minute, please. Put him down. Uh, you know, I, I have to be honest, OK? He's in front of us. Okay. Kobe, do something for Daddy, OK? Why don't you run upstairs? Because Daddy has to be real now, OK? This is good. This is what I want. I said to him, why are you behaving this way with Kobe? And he turned around very abrupt and said, let's get real here. And I thought, let's do it. Let's talk. I am very disappointed, OK? OK. The behavior that Colby is showing, he doesn't do it with me. Mm -hmm. I didn't lay this foundation. Vicky did. And that is not Colby's fault, mm -hmm. OK? Am I mad? You're damn right I'm mad. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like condemn Colby because of what an adult has allowed him to do, OK? I hear what you're going to say. Now I'm going to lay my cards down on the table. Please do. Aaron blames Vicky, but he's got to get beyond that. What's most important here is that Vicky and Aaron put their children's welfare first and put their differences aside. Kobe's anger has also now escalated with the fact that Vicky hasn't stepped up and implemented her own foundation. But she's not had the support from you because of your own personal differences. And those children are now having to deal with those emotions. He's five years old and he's got a lot of pent-up anger. These boys have got to see that their father supports their mother to be able to put these kids on the right track. Because after all, isn't that why we're all here? That's the reason. Yeah. Later on, I wanted the boys to have some quality time with Mum, so Mum got out some ink pads for them to do an art project together. But before they could even get started... You don't do the ink on the table. Toby, look at me. Kobe wanted to do things his way. <laughs> Remove him from the area. <sighs> Remove him. But Kobe's behaviour got worse and it erupted into a huge tantrum. Ah, I broke another one! Trying to call Kobe down was going to take some strenuous effort, so it was important that Vicky remain calm. <laughs> Kobe, it is not acceptable <laughs> for you to be throwing things. <laughs> Destruction. I will not go back to letting him have his own way because I see what it's caused and I see that I let it get to the level that it did, how hard it is to go back and get control of it. <laughs> Vicky's realising that if she can just get Kobe to slow down and breathe, he'll calm down. And through your nose, out through your mouth. Come on, show mummy. Show me you can we do it. We know you can go. do it when you get angry. You show mummy. Breathing through my nose and not my mouth. <sighs> He's nice and calm. Then I calm down. There's a cycle with Kobe that happens. It's about breaking that cycle. This was a huge victory for mum. She remained calm, she took control of the situation and got Kobe to calm down. He needs to apologise for hitting you, pick up this mess, and then he had quite a job to do, cleaning up the mess he had made. Firm voice. OK. Kobe, pick those up. Normally, I would have cleaned everything up. Joe said, no, 
don't do that. He's got to understand he makes a mess, he's going to pick it up. Later that evening, Aaron stopped by to discuss Kobe's behavior. This is what needs to happen. Kobe needs to recognize is your support with Vicky. Mm -hmm. Aaron was prepared to support Vicky with discipline, so now it was time to address Kobe together. We had a very rough day because Kobe made very bad decisions. And he chose to get angry and break things. He. Well, let's um... see it. Hold, hold on a second. Kobe, do you think this is funny? I'm not going to allow you to continue to be destructive. If it continues to happen, you continue to lose privileges. And you lose privileges at my house tomorrow. I think with Kobe seeing Vicky and myself, it showed a unity that what we were trying to convey to him was that we're working together. I will not tolerate you not doing what you're told. Do you understand that? Because there will be consequences. I felt really good because I felt like he's understanding that, hey, mom and dad are both sitting here telling me that they're not going to tolerate this. You know, maybe I better listen. Now let's go upstairs and get our pajamas on and get ready for bed. Go ahead. Mom and Dad are finally working together, which is amazing, because it's going to take the pair of them to keep Kobe's behavior under control. 